it is horrible, it is terrible, but my heart bleeds knowing that the American government know the shambo crisis we have we are facing in Cameroon and sending my brothers and sisters back home. Cameroonians have come to the United States to escape ongoing humanitarian crisis, conflict, and human rights abuses in the country. Yet the U.S. has been deporting them back. Human Rights Watch spoke to a number of Cameroonians deported on two flights in October and November 2020. Nearly all were asylum seekers. Many were unfairly denied asylum in the U.S. despite credible claims of past persecution. After their return, many of those who were deported suffered serious human rights violations by Cameroonian authorities. Armed separatists also beat at least one deported person and threatened the relatives of others. Our investigation found that the deportations returned Cameroonians to persecution, torture and other serious harm. This violates international human rights and refugee law. Security forces stopped me at the checkpoint to ask for ID. I present the document I had received at the airport and they realized I had been deported from the US. So they started insulting me and saying, I am one of the ones that are going out of the country and destroying the name of the country. They started insulting me, beating me, kicking me with their shoes seriously, and they locked me up in jail for several days until I, until I escaped. What happened to Marie was not an isolated incident. Cameroonian government forces abused or detained at least 39 other deported people after their return, including Walter, not his real name. I was held in Comunicado for over five months. And at the end of it all, it was just a motive to extort money from my family because we had to pay a ransom of 2 million francs which is about 4,000 US dollars. We also found out that security forces in Cameroon were victimizing family members of deported people. This 60-year-old woman from Southwest Cameroon was severely beaten by military personnel who came to her house looking for her son. Since late 2016, the Northwest and Southwest regions of Cameroon have been embroiled in cycles of violence between government forces and armed separatist groups seeking independence from the country. This has internally displaced hundreds of thousands and pushed tens of thousands to flee the country. The United States failed to protect Cameroonian asylum seekers even while they were on U.S. soil. Dozens were held in prolonged U.S. immigration detention for one to three years. Deported Cameroonians also reported experiencing excessive use of force, medical neglect, and other abuses while in the custody of U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement, known as ICE. ICE called me and forced me to sign. Put my hand behind my back. Some officer, they forced me to put my fingerprint. We've been treated like we are not humans. I don't know if it is because of our skin color or because of where we come from. During our stay here in vicinity, we've not been granted, we've not been given the opportunity. Get it is really a hard failure and a frustrating situation on our part, knowing that the United States is not able and willing to protect us, sending us back to the terrible government who is ready to take our life. Advocacy organizations and families of Cameroonian asylum seekers have been protesting and holding vigils, calling for a halt to deportations to Cameroon. I want to tell the American government that sending me back to Cameroon, that is harm. 
has seriously impacted my life and that I still need their protection and assistance because my life is seriously in, still in danger. The U.S. government should immediately grant humanitarian parole to all Cameroonian asylum seekers deported in 2020 and 2021 so that they can return to the United States for fair asylum hearings. Cameroonian authorities and armed separatists should cease all abuses against returnees and their families.